It's February 19th, 7.55 p.m. I'm going to read Chapter 15 of Part 2 of Liber Eba, The Lamin. The breastplate or lamin of the magician is a very elaborate and important symbol. In the Jewish system, we read that the high priest was to wear a plate with twelve stones for the twelve tribes of Israel, with all their correspondences, and in this plate were kept the Urim and Thummim. Scholars are uncertain as to what these really were, though apparently they were methods of divination. The modern lamin is, however, a simple plate, which being worn over the heart symbolizes Tifereth, and it should therefore be a harmony of all the other symbols in one. It connects naturally by its shape with the circle and the pentacle, but it is not sufficient to repeat the design of either. The lamin of the spirit whom one wishes to evoke is both placed in the triangle and worn on the breast, but in this case, since that which we wish to invoke is nothing partial but whole, we shall have but a single symbol to combine the two. The great work will then form the subject of the design. Some writers have actually confused the lamin with the pantacle, usually through a misunderstanding of the nature of the latter. Dr. Dee's Sigillum Dea Meth makes a fine pantacle, but it would be useless as a lamin. Eliphas Levi made several attempts to draw one or the other. He never seemed sure which. Fortunately, he knows better now. The lamins given in the lesser and greater keys of Solomon are rather better, but we know of no perfect example. The design of the cover of J.F.C. Fuller's The Star in the West represents an early effort of Freighter P. In this lamin, the magician must place the secret keys of his power. The pentacle is merely the material to be worked upon, gathered together and harmonized, but not yet in operation. The parts of the engine arranged for use are even put together, but not yet set in motion. In the lamin, these forces are already at work. Even accomplishment is prefigured. In the system of Abramelin, the lamin is a plate of silver upon which the holy guardian angel writes in dew. This is another way of expressing the same thing, for it is he who confers the secrets of that power which should be herein expressed. St. Paul expresses the same thing when he says that the breastplate is faith, and can withstand the fiery darts of the wicked. This faith is not blind self-confidence and credulity. It is that self-confidence which only comes when self is forgotten. It is the knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel which confers this faith. The task of attaining to this knowledge and conversation is the sole task of him who would be called adept. An absolute method for achieving this is given in the 8th Ether, Liber 418.